I'm Rina Almores and welcome to the municipality of San Isidro. On the western part of the Latin mainland, facing the northern tip of Cebu and the Visayan Sea, is the agricultural town of San Isidro. It has a total land area of 1,000 million people and it's bound to be in the and the east and the the east and and the east 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 the east and 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 the east on the northern part of what is now known as San Isidro Bay. First settlers were traders believed to have come from the province of Cebu, Bohol, and Panay. By virtue of an ordinary will dated September 30, 1884, Unong's settlement was officially recognized. Its jurisdiction extends from the boundaries of Aurora, and up to the settlement of Himandangon, Villa, Alba, or Villaba. Came a pueblo known as San Isidro del Campo or a municipality separate from the municipality of Leyte Leyte. In 1905, Don Pascual Antonio, who owned the land surrounding San Isidro, together with the coordination of Don Oscar de Perez Table and Gonzo family renamed the town San Isidro in honor of the patron saint of the farmers, Saint Isidore. Did you know that San Isidro isn't just the name of the town? It is also a parish church called San Isidro Labrador Parish, a part of the Diocese of Duval in the province of Biliran. Yung nakikita niyo sa likod, ito yung San Isidro Labrador Parish ng municipality of San Isidro Lake. First church was built in 1895 to San Isidro Labrador Parish. Here in Barangay Asinda Maria in San Isidro, Leyte. San Isidro is an agricultural municipality because of its vast and fertile land. The main source of living is farming, and any kind of plant could grow, like this tobacco in my back. Asinda Maria has a farm of tobacco.
Yung nakikita niyo sa likod, ito yung natitirang istruktura ng unang simbahan dito sa Barangay Dahad, yun sa Bisibilete, na itinayo noong 1920s. Hanggang sa Kalamidad, Bagyo, Lindol, ito na lang yung natitirang istruktura ng simbahan. At ang bagong simbahan dito sa Barangay Dahad, yun sa Bisibilete, ang Mary of the Maculate Conception Paris Church. The most interesting part I love here in San Isidro Lute is the fresh air, the clean surroundings, there is no pollution, and there is peace. And for that, I am forever grateful and thankful because I could be able to experience it here in San Isidro.